Okay guys, so here I'm setting up the camera. I'm gonna start a new series. This is, uh, so as you guys can see the name, I changed the channel from Tyler Plays to Big Boy Living. Obviously I'm a big guy, I'm 290 pounds, as you can tell. And I'm 18, almost 19 years old. I'm, right now I'm working out at Anytime Fitness. This is the next day that I'm over talking on it because there is music in this. So I'm gonna definitely have to uh, cut that out and add my own. But I just wanted to do something, you know, just for people that are trying to lose weight like me, because it's hard. It's not easy. Even young, being young and fit and being able to, it's just not, it's it's not just like a little change. It's a whole lifestyle change. And, you know, I lift a lot. I, my deadlift max is 450 pounds. I can clean 240, a bench over 235, which isn't the greatest. I can do a lot of things. I snatched at one point when I was really working on snatch I was snatching 200 pounds but I hurt my back and then I kind of gained some weight and I'm trying to lose it right now and it's kind of hard because like I look back on the video just editing it before I started doing an over talk and when you see yourself it's it's kind of you don't see yourself from these perspectives normally like you usually see it through your eyes so in your mind you kind of change every and cultivate it to where you feel better about yourself which i'm not shaming bod like body shaming myself it's just it's a shocker you know i didn't you don't realize these things and then i'm wearing a smaller sweatshirt than i probably should <laughs> and uh you know i the only thing that bothers me is my stomach that's the main thing i want to get rid of if i can just get, cut some weight down off of that i'd be more than happy so i'm definitely going to incorporate some long runs high intensity a lot of that kind of stuff but here i i used just saw me do 135 um, right here, I think is what 225 plus 90. Got down 47. I don't know. It's it's like three something. I hit that for three. I need to put some collars on. That's a safety hazard. And here's my uh, my main thing because I do deadlift a lot, so I kind of was feeling my back kind of hurting, so I stopped. So I started warmed up. Haven't benched in about uh, I don't know, like really tried in probably like two months. Um. So I added up to 135, so my usual, like, oh wait, that's 145, I think. I'm not good with math, all right? You can't blame me. But there we go, that's going up. Yeah, it's a, it's a little too fast. I put the percentage a little too high, but that's just for this video. I then add tens to that, and I slowly just go down, uh... I kind of just sit and ponder my life right there like why am I doing this <laughs> no I'm just kidding uh so we hit that and I think I hit that for uh eight six or eight I don't know and then I just keep adding tens I don't ask me why usually I do 135 first with the 45s on with the 45s on and then I slowly put like tens then a 25 but I don't know I did it unorthodox today because sometimes when you add like when you get to your max and you have that weight and you know it's that those that exact weight like those uh plates are the exact weight that's your max it really messes with your head so and the, at the end of this i actually get up to 225 which i didn't think i could personally do but i didn't even figure that the lift before that was like uh like 205 and it, i hit it pretty easily and i was like i was kind of sitting there like i wonder how much this is it feels like it's like you know like 185 but it it felt good i think i definitely if i had a spotter i definitely could have win another at least 20 pounds Probably even more if I really had someone there to pump me up. I just didn't have anybody. So it's kind of like a scary thing because you're lifting and it's like you got to know you can do the weight. But at the same time, you want to push yourself. So I think this is, yeah, this is the final part where I hit 225. Yeah, I was behind the camera doing the math and I kind of like went on my phone and I was like, oh, this is 225. Let's get it. So I hit it pretty easy. I, yeah, I definitely put the percentage too high. And today was a uh, kind of chest day, but I put a little bit of shoulder because this works the uh, chest. But yeah, I think I did sets of five. I don't even. I see the thing is, I don't not on. I wasn't on a regiment th today. Today was that day was kind of like a a mix of just trying to get chest stuff done because I expected to deadlift a little bit more and I didn't because my back was hurting. So I did this, which it definitely felt good to do because I haven't done shoulders probably in a couple days. I'm struggling there. I think it's like, what is it, 125, something like that. And then here we're doing um, the chest press. So this is just like a this is like a vertical version of a 
uh, bench press. I think I think I started off with like a hundred and something. And let me just say I haven't benched in a while, so that the, doing the bench before that killed me. I mean, it was I was struggling. And then as you can see, I'm goofy. I can't take anything serious, even if my life depended on it. I'd probably make a joke out of it. And then I look around and make sure no one thinks I'm hella weird. <laughs> but here's the uh, I think this is the final set. I think it, or no, I think this is the second to last. And I think I have about three thousand pounds on that. A little, little maybe three twenty, three three thousand two hundred fifty-five. I don't know. <laughs> it's about uh, one twenty to be honest. And I, as much as I was goofing off right there, I literally felt like that. <laughs> I felt like I had to do that in order to keep everybody from thinking I'm like dying. And this is for sure my final set, right? Like I'm dead sure. Yeah. I did do a couple other things off camera. And then I went ahead and got on the, um, what is this? The, uh, <laughs> it's a hydro massage bed and basically it runs from feet to head and back down or whatever way I, I put it from like my the mid of my butt to like the mid of my back because that's where like i had felt like tension when i was deadlifting and so basically you use the little monitor use the mouse on uh that's on the like bed with you you put in your settings i put the pressure all the way up and it kind of just runs back and forth on you over and over and i did it for about five minutes but i cut this early and i think i still left it in too long a little bit better. So animal pump, it's like forty dollars. And this is my protein. It's an animal whey. It's a brownie batter. Best stuff I ever had. It tastes so good. And I have it in <laughs> flash shaker cup. I got some unsweetened almond milk. I'm gonna drink this. I'm so out of focus. I'm gonna drink this right now. Put it in there. Take a shower. Get some amino acids and drink a gallon of water. That's kind of how I go through my day. But Hope you guys enjoyed so far. I don't know how much more we're gonna have. Um, yeah, we might just have like a little overview, but I don't know. I'm probably super close to the camera. Okay guys, so this is where I'm mixing my protein and stuff, and I just wanna take the time to say, if you're still watching, thank you. And I, I wanna challenge you guys to do this along with me. I will be doing more in my workouts than I have did in this video. Uh, it was just kinda like a test, I kinda felt you know, it felt weird to bring a camera and a tripod because I use a Canon, uh, like a photography camera, so because I wanted the best quality. So it's a little bit awkward for me, and I just want to say thank you. And I'm definitely gonna try. I'm trying to go down from 290 to 280, and I'm gonna do it in 10 pound increments. So just want to say thank you, and I really hope you guys do enjoy. Um, and yeah, I, I just don't know what else to do. Um, I just wanted to. It's just thank you for staying tuned, and this is kind of like my way of having you guys check me and I check you, we keep each other in line. So hope you guys enjoyed.